Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. And we have here a 2017 Mercedes GLC 300. And I will show you how to change your um, air conditioning cabin filters. Um, there should be two, one inside the car, um, under the glove box and the passenger side, of course and one here and usually Mercedes calls this outside one a dust filter so you need to get to these little clips and open them at 90 degrees and this cover needs to be pulled up so here we go and once you pull it out this is pretty dirty um, most of the time I would advise to try to clean this area here because this is mold that's building up, especially right there, that's gonna end up um, inside your car. Of course, um, now you need to change the cabin filter or the dust filter. So this dust filter is the first filter and it's extremely important as well as the second one um and the recommended mileage on this one is about 10,000 miles and i would say try to <clears throat> possibly change it twice a year after try to change it uh before <clears throat> no actually it's after the spring after the pollen and then before the winter uh, i would say but again, 10,000 miles, so maybe you wouldn't be able to do it twice. Um, so once, I guess, should be okay, especially since there are two of them. Um, okay, this thing is just a box that's covered like this that, that goes down and holds these slots are holding it. And you have these two on the side clips that you need to uh, push in like this and in order to open this. And... You can even force it a little bit and once you take it out this is the filter underneath this box and that is your air conditioning right there or um, the that's the fan fan blower is what they call it right there for the air conditioning and you need to Kind of squeeze this filter because it's in a slot here with these uh, plastic pins and you need to take it off uh, in this case this is a Chinese filter so I'm not sure what brand it is doesn't look to be a very well manufactured but as you can see this is the dust so it's it has worked so far but we're gonna <coughs> we're going to install this uh, this one that we bought for this car for the outside this is a cortical this is a German filter and what is the model I guess the model is probably one of these numbers maybe CP 1456 I believe is probably the model uh, or 8,450 those are the numbers that go on this package I don't see any other recognizable ones I think the factory number the Mercedes number is 166-830-0218 that's the factory number of the Mercedes one if you need to order it so here we go it's packed up and this one is a German one. Yeah, it's CP1456. That's the model of this filter. So I need to open it. And remember, uh, don't forget the direction, the airflow direction. The airflow direction is, is towards the car. So the way we took this out uh, is is with this so the direction is actually from down up so this is how we're going to need to install this and 
again just push it gently down and through the through the tabs and once you get it in it will be fine so it's ready to go and the same way you start first with these tabs here the slots and then you push it down to clip on the left and right sides and here we go you can test it to see if it moves so this is it and then we need to install back the cover that slides first there and slides down here with the clips and twist the clips 90 degrees and this is it so this dust filter is ready very easy and very fast so the next thing would be the air conditioning cabin filter inside okay guys the filter here the interior filter is under the passenger glove box and you need to get to this cover here which we need to get off or down there's one uh, Torx bolt T20 it's T20 again that you need to take and once you take it off you need to pull this down and it's gonna give you some trouble because there's a uh, um, there is a sensor here on this side that you need to disconnect um, right here and also right here just pull the plug here and you have the doom light here that you need to push the clip down and once you get all of this it, it'll come off and you need to get it out of the way and the filter will be right there this is where the filter is in this box here and the way this fits is you need to slide this there's this this um this slider this plastic slider here to the right once you slide it this will open and this is the actual cover that holds the the, the filter and boom <laughs> the filter just came out so this will be a little bit in your way the carpet so no worry about it uh, just pull it down and it will come out um, you may have some trouble getting this in uh, because it's at an angle but remember this angle here actually um, that's why they have this angle here on this filter so that it helps you to slide it in and where's the new filter it's out here so this is the new filter and the motor on this would be CC1495 the same cortical brand made in Germany um, of course you can you can buy the OEM if you need to and this is a very good filter because it's a charcoal filter as you can see from the grayish color and the way this will um, go is you're gonna need to remember that these two holes go on the top of the filter actually that's going to be your guide and airflow in this case wouldn't matter because this is the corner that you need to follow and it's on the right side so
so take the old one out so again China um, let's see it's not that bad um, actually I don't know when they change it but it's 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 an okay it's in a good shape it's not bad but it's not charcoal so this is a better variant of this of this filter and Okay, uh, let me position my camera in a way that um, you can see anyway. Um, it's just a matter of sliding this there. Um, I don't have enough space here to position my camera. Um, or, let me see. Okay, manage to install the camera and this will give you some trouble because this filter fits in an angle so you're gonna have to squeeze this filter a little bit in order to get it in um, it may not be easy because it needs to fit in and uh, the space is very tight so Okay, here we go. And it'll only go in one specific place uh, where those guides on the top are going to fit. So if it's giving you resistance, that means it's not in the hole. It's, so you just lightly have to be able to lift it up and fit it in and then this this cap works um, all the way back there it has this corner thing or this slot so you have to fit that slot first and once you fit that slot first that's going to be your guide and then these need to be on to the right so it will slide on top of these sliders and here we go you push them to the left and that's how it's installed it may give you some trouble but you're gonna have to kind of squeeze the filter to get it in um, it'll be fine and here we go they used to have a bolt before here on some of these you see this this is an empty spot with a uh, hope for a boat but they don't do it anymore i guess saving on boats possibly and once you get that in you need to get the plastic back in and it's all the way back there and again 
be careful with this um, it has to go over the carpet back there and down here remember to plug the sensor go and you need to plug the doom light and then you push it back up you have these clips here uh, you have one here and one here those are your guides where this this will go and Okay, once it's clipped, the only last thing you have left is this Torx, the T20 Torx that you need to put back. And that's it. This is the whole job, pretty easy. I wouldn't say fast, but yeah, I mean, fairly easy. Okay, yeah, that filter may give you some trouble, that one, but it is what it is, and this concludes the cabin filter and the dust filter replacement on this 2017 Mercedes GLC 300. Again, don't forget to change these every about 10,000 miles or every two, two oil changes in order to save you from getting maybe sick with bacteria you know preventing dust coming in preventing bad stuff coming from the air outside okay thanks a lot for watching guys again please uh, subscribe please like my videos and please subscribe thank you